Hey, what's up? Welcome back, my gaming brethren. Immediately stumbled over that. You know what, though? It, it's so funny, I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> hey, guys. So, we did a big stream yesterday, and uh, I'm liking the consistency I'm coming back with. You know, the past couple of weeks, I've just been doing, like, one stream a day, and that's if I feel good enough to do a stream. Once... <laughs> Man, I gotta get better at that. One stream a day, I mean one game a day per stream. I think of it in terms of streams, because it's always output as a VOD. But anyway, yeah. I've been trying to play more. And, like, like I've said before, I try to stream daily, too. But, man, I've just been feeling so under the weather, like, this past month. And now I'm finally getting my energy back. It feels good. Yeah, dude. So, I've never played through both Zelda, Oracle of Ages, or Seasons. So, I mean, immediately after we finish this first one, I think I'm going to go right into the second one. I looked all around the internet. Apparently, uh, just the definitive way to start is Ages, and then move on to Seasons. I don't know. If you have a preference, dude, that's like your opinion, man. <laughs> but if you don't, I mean, cool. And so, I'm going to start with Ages. If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. But, I don't know, it just appeals to me this way. And it's alphabetical, which I like. And I, from what I understand, um, there, there's only one thing that's inaccessible if you start Ages first. Um, the linked mechanics, you, you kind of benefit the most if you start with Ages. So, I think... Uh, God, I already forgot, but one of these has more puzzles and the other has more combat. I think Ages has more puzzles and Seasons has more combat. And the way I've seen it described to me, you get some sword upgrade in Ages that you take to Seasons for the more combat in Seasons. So it's probably going to be in my best interest to play in like fucking streamer mode. <laughs> do like the easiest recommended route anyway I don't really care which way I play it but I like the Zelda puzzles I like the Zelda combat I don't really have a major preference on which one I do first and I think just ages first season second sounds nicer anyway so yeah let's uh check this out like I said this is gonna be my first time ever playing through this so there's going to be a lot of new stuff here. I've seen a little bit of one of these games. Couldn't tell you which, but I think I watched Vinny from Vine Sauce play one of them. And I just couldn't stand it. I didn't want to be spoiled. So I took it upon myself to stop watching. So now it's, you know, finally my turn to actually play through the game. Both games, that is. But yeah, we're starting with Oracle of Ages. Let's do this. Another Capcom Zelda game, too. I didn't know this at first. I try to, like, on Twitch, I try to tag developers for whatever game I'm streaming. I almost typed in Capcom. I was like, no, I doubt it. That was only Minish Cap. But nope, this is another Capcom Zelda game. So I'm expecting a lot of good quality here and a lot of fun times, some awesome dialogue. And, you know, I thought this was going to look like Link's Awakening for some reason. I mean, it does, but the art is so much better. <laughs> God, it's so vibrant and bright and colorful. Yeah, I'm ready for this, dude. Back to back. The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Let's start with Ages. It's the Triforce. Okay, is Link ascending? He, he made his wish of courage or something, I think. I, I don't know. Has there ever canonically been either Link or Zelda making a wish on the Triforce? Usually it's Ganon. <laughs> they try to prevent him from doing it, and every time he still makes a wish and makes Demon Land or something. Dark World. Alright, The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages. I think it sounds a little quiet, so just give me a... It's a quick second here. It turn up just a little bit. Yeah. Hey, it's got the classic intro song. Yeah. 
It's a bop, as always. Alright, welcome, welcome. It's time for Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Let's get into this, homies! And, you know, I could do the classic thing and name my character Zelda, but why would I do that? That's so stupid. <laughs> what if Zelda were a girl? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm such a fucking purist when it comes to Zelda. And dude, I wanted to mention this earlier. We've been playing so much Zelda on this stream. But, yeah, going back. The only character so far that hasn't been Link has been Goku in Wind Waker Randomizer. So I always pick Link. Let's do uh, 4 speed. I don't want it ultra fast. Alright. So there's like the intro cutscene leading right into this. Accept our quest, hero. Is this uh, the goddesses? <laughs> I could have just sat there and never accepted the quest and just floated in the ethereal realm for all eternity. Yo, I just gotta say something before we even play. Look at the dot work on his eyes, if you can see that. That is some sub-pixel rendering, just to show a little sparkle in his eye. Alright. Hey, it feels good to be playing 2D Zelda again. And then we're, g <laughs> we're gonna go back to 3D Zelda, like, two days after this, probably. Help! So yeah, like I said, I've seen Vinny play a little bit of this. It might be a tiny bit familiar at first, but I don't know, maybe it wasn't ages, maybe it was seasons. That was frightening. I was suddenly attacked. Thank you, Traveler. What is your name? Link, is it? I see a triangle on your back of your left hand. That is the sign of a Hyrulean hero. That must be why the beast fled. Yeah, I have the Triforce of Courage on the back of my hand, I suppose. I am Impa, nurse to Hyrule's Princess Zelda. I am looking for a singer named Nehru. Already, <laughs> we're already getting introduced to the goddesses. Will you help me look, Link? I'd feel safer with you nearby. The funny thing is, in Minish Cap, we had the opportunity to meet all three goddesses, but I was like, ah, fuck it. Alright, so... East the Yol Graveyard, but I don't have anything to clear trees, so... Let's just, uh, go find Nehru, huh? Eek, eek. What a great spot! Such clean air! <laughs> Why am I giving this monkey toad voice? Now, if only time could stop! Now, no! Do a monkey. This is the animal's utopia! Soon more animals will come! Hmm. Feels like a Link's Awakening reference. I do believe this came out after Link's Awakening. I would feel really stupid if it didn't. Oh, that's it. What is that? A tent? This rock with the... From now on, I'm just gonna call it a Triforce. Um, a singular piece of the Triforce is still the Triforce, so... This rock with the Triforce is a sign. I think Impa is smart enough to know that, too. Could you move this rock for me, Link? Can I? I'll, um, I'll just... I can't do it. Is this old Impa? Usually Impa is strong as fuck. What am I supposed to do with it? Huh? N nothing does it. Do I... Oh. <laughs> is she that scared? What the hell? I'm not gonna crush you with a rock. Thank you, now let's go. Okay. Nehru's house, north. Lena city, south. I'm probably gonna be told to turn around. Oh no, I can actually go somewhere. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, the sprite work is much better in this game. Obviously, there's a lot more shared assets, because it is probably directly based off of Link's Awakening. But you can tell there's a lot more work put into this. Okay, I hear Nehru's song this way. Ah, yes. Nehru singing to all the animals. We got pigeon, we got bear, small child. Shh, I can't hear Nehru sing. Monkey, rabbit. La la li li la, la li li la. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of an ancient meme. 
uh, back in actual, like, 2007, maybe 2009. Okay, so in RuneScape, you can steal tea in East Varak from a tea stall. So I made a song. La 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 la! Tea is good! Tea is good! Tea is good! <laughs> and that was a... That was a meme among me and some of my close friends. God, I pretty accurately sang that too, fuck. No, I have to hear Nehru's song. How charming. I hope I didn't destroy your ears with that, like, small babby voice I just did. Huh? Nehru's the best singer in Labrina. Can I get through, though? Is that Vadi over there? Okay, I guess I'm not allowed. Huh? Wait, is- <laughs> Hold on, what is this? That does not look right, dude. Okay, I'm guessing this thing, whatever the hell this is, prototype to, uh, you know, whatever Minish hat cap go had going on. Minish hat. Okay, I can't go into that. It's clearly like a birdhouse or something. Let me through! I'm not singing that again. I'm not gonna embarrass myself with tiny voice. Oh, the bear moved out of the way. Sit here and listen, how charming. Good song. Uh, there's some really good art in this game too, and not just like the overworld stuff, but you'll see in a second. Isn't it enchanting? Yeah! Lincoln Nehru. You can see what they're talking about, the Triforce on the back of his hand. Ah, oh, that's so cool. You're Hyrule's messengers, aren't you? Impa and Link, right? A bird brought the message of your arrival. My name is Ralph. I'm an old friend of Nehru's. We're counting on you. Ralph? Uh... An old friend of a goddess and you're named Ralph? Hmm... Thank you. You've come all the way from Hyrule, correct? Pleased to meet you. I am Nehru. I've been very worried after hearing that Labrina would face many evil troubles. A prophecy? Don't worry, Nehru, I'm here. I'll chase away any beast that comes near you. Sorry, Link. Sorry, Link! But I doubt we'll need you. Ugh. I'm sorry, Link. Ralph is always like this when it comes to me. But I feel like something evil is approaching, just as Ralph claims. Yeah, it's Impa. Wait, really? Why- Why evil music and she's cackling? <laughs> you are correct. Not bad for a diva. Not bad for Nehru, Oracle of Ages. Something terrible will happen right now before your very eyes. It is the most cursed old lady voice I've done in a while. Ah, the darkness. Ugh. Defend the goddess. Wait, is this actually Vadi? Thank you, Link. You allowed me to pass through the sacred barrier. I've been waiting for this moment. I am Varen, sorceress of shadows. Hmm, very, like, brusque female voice, I guess, there, but whatever. Nehru, Oracle of Ages, I shall make your body my own. <laughs> I've seen a couple of pictures of Varen, but that's just from looking up memes of this game. I have no context. See, this guy is smart. You take over one of the goddesses who made part of the Triforce, you basically have absolute power. Although at this point, I wonder. Have they, like, sacrificed their power to create the Triforce, and now they're just humans? What are you doing to Nehru? I'll cut you in two if you don't let her go. Hmm, not too brave, turning a sword at me. If you could cut me, it's Nehru who dies. Getting, like, Girahim vibes and also Vathi vibes from this guy. Nehru's no mere diva. She is the Oracle of Ages who controls time. Now the Oracle's powers are mine. I can travel through time as I choose. 
Uh, Doctor Who reference? Wait, is that you time traveling? If anything, that's space travel, but okay. Now a new age shall begin. The age of darkness. <laughs> okay, bye. Good luck. I will slay you in like 8 to 12 hours. I shall go to the past and do as I- oh. I shall go to the past and do as I please. Didn't think he could talk through the portal. Ah, uh, the age of darkness falls upon us, but it's like... Time scale is relative to how much damage this evil Varen is doing. What? That guy didn't even get killed or anything, he was just turned into an old man. Deleting all monkeys from existence? See, this is always a weird theory of time travel, like concurrent time travel mechanics. Where someone fucks something up in the past and things change in real time because of that? That's so weird, but okay. I guess that's one way to look at it. That Varen. She couldn't touch the stone, so she used you to get in here. <laughs> He's... He's, uh, defeated, I guess. I've known Nehru was the Oracle of Ages since she was a child. I've always been beside her, protecting her. Wait, that raises more questions. Are the three goddesses reincarnating throughout the years? But now this... Nehru! Calm down. Nehru, wait, I'll save you. I don't think he knows what to do. Nehru! <laughs> okay. Quite a dramatic opening. Oh, Link. You saved me. I can't go back to old lady voice. To think I was possessed. Shadows were surrounding the Oracle of Ages, so I came hoping to take her to Hyrule. I had no idea this would happen. That Varen lady is frightening. I was forced to do her will in spite of myself. You're expecting continuity from Zelda? Tall order, sir. I was about to say, too, before you said that. Um, of course, Hyrule is adjacent to this land. But we're never gonna go there. <laughs> it's all cordoned off. This, this new land is the only place we're gonna be in. Farron said she'd go back in time. She must be planning to use Nehru's power to launch some sort of plan in the past. Labrina already feels the effects. If it's true, we must stop her. My limbs feel so heavy after what Varen did. I can't move them very easily. Link, if the Triforce on your left hand is real, then you may be the hero who will save this world. Please help us. I like how possession of the Triforce piece really does nothing for the heroes most of the time. I mean, Zelda usually deus ex machinas with it, but otherwise it's just... Uh, hey, it gives you, like, uh... I don't know, plot armor, I guess? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Zelda entrusted this sword to me. You may use it. I honestly thought I was gonna get the other dude's sword. You got a hero's wooden sword. Hold A or B to charge it up, then release it for a spin attack. Uh, thank god I don't have to go to an instructor to learn that one. Link, can you go meet the Maku Tree in Lina Village? The Maku Tree is the Garden of Labrina. Surely she can help. Nehru's house is in the woods east of here. I'll be there. I thought you couldn't move very well. Hmm, okay. Very confusing, but a valiant effort, I guess. So what, what, was that the door that I saw here last time? Uh, I love the music in here. Yeah, dude, just look at the sprite work going on here. It looks so much nicer than Link's Awakening. Link, please save Nehru. I'm surprised Nintendo never remade Link's Awakening, or never remade uh, Oracle of Ages and Seasons for the 3DS or for the Switch. Because they did that with Link's Awakening. I guess maybe these games weren't that popular? Okay, so you saw in the top left there, there was a, an hourglass. That's kind of a hint to the mechanic underlying this game. Obviously, time travel. But I'm not totally sure how it works, but we do swap between various ages, uh, as per the name. What's up, old man? This is Lena City. 
Anything else? No. What's in the shop? A shield? Rush shield! Welcome, sir. Bring me any item you wish to purchase. Can I steal? No, I don't think you can steal in this game. What does he say, though? <laughs> hey, don't just take things! Thief! Give that back right now! What if I try again? Okay. Incredible that you become named Thief in Link's Awakening if you do truly pull it off. North to the Maku Tree? Ooh, cool, uh... Mm, mermaid statue. I not remember the term. Lately, folk have been finishing and turning to stone without warning. What's happening? What's the dog doing? I am Plen, the mayor here in Lena City. Lena has a long history reaching back hundreds of years. Back then it was Lena Village, not a city. Double hyphen. Nice grammar, dude. Okay, I see a ton of treasure chests that I cannot access. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way, Nice Toast. I hope you're enjoying me playing some Oracle of Ages. You might have missed it earlier. This is my first time ever playing through this game, so I'm really excited to play this. Okay, kid, what are you doing? I am Bippin, the expert artist. I know plenty about trees. Now let me tell you something. Blossom and I just had our first child. Yes, we did. Have a look. Oh. I'm Blossom. This is my first child, a healthy baby boy. But I'm having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? I get to pick his name? Do I... <laughs> do I do the BM and call the baby, like, Link or Zelda? Hmm... No. I know what I must do now. His name will be Ganon. <laughs> You would name him Ganon? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's a fine name, I shall call him so. He seems happy to have it. Come visit us anytime. Good god, what have I done? Speaking of, of the timelines in Zelda, good god. <laughs> what have I done? It's like the doctor encountering Davros when he was a child. And the doctor has to do something to fuck up Dav Davros's entire life. He created a monster. Ho ho, I am Troy. In my younger days, I traveled the world and saw many animals. Even at my age, I'm quite dedicated. You shall promise if you've come here to, to hear me speak. As between us, I have seen a terrifying monster that eats shields. How frightful. Like, like, like... Like, what kind of monster, like, would that, like, like, be? Ganon is, Ganon is the only dude in a society full of women, so I mean, yeah, true, good enough. It's not the real Ganon. Unless, uh, at some point, everybody here dies except all the women. Oh, no. Lena City? Ugh, more like the Gerudo Desert. Not a terrible name. I'm probably gonna re-encounter that later and fucking laugh my ass off. Know it all birds hut. First timers welcome. Hey, that's me. I'm gonna assume this is a tutorial room. Want to learn about the subscreens? No. Want to learn about saving? I probably should actually. Open the subscreen and press select twice to see the essence screen next to s Okay. I ne what Okay, start and select also. Let's just save. See, I wouldn't have connected those dots, that's for sure. I would have had to search it up. How to save an Oracle of Ages. Want to learn about maps? No. Want to learn about the mystical seeds? Uh... Is this the same thing as Link's Awakening? There are five kinds of mystical seeds. Each seed type has a unique effect. You can't carry seeds without a satchel. Okay. Want to learn a hero's skill? Yes? Teach me, O oh wise bird hero. A skill for a courageous hero. Press and hold the sword button to save. Want to learn shield tactics? What? Deflect enemy attacks while pressing the shield button. That is not a tactic. That is literally how to use it. 
Want to learn about bombs? No. Want to learn about items? No. Want to learn about ages? Yes. People, yes. The present age and the past age are related. Even events in the past affect events in the present. <laughs> this is almost like a Irish grandma accent. Yeah, the, oh well, the birds got the old Irish priest voice. Also, items found only in the present can be taken to the past. Uh, it's deepening in the Irish now. Want to learn about essences? Um, even this mortal bird knows little of essences. Okay, I gotta stop. I was doing that the other day, too, and not even on stream. I think I was going out shopping or something, and I just could not stop the fucking Irish accent. I couldn't quit. It wouldn't... it just would not cease. What's up, dog? Is that a Yorkshire Terrier? Oh, that's so cute. Why am I allowed to swing my sword indoors? I'm a Mao Yan, the top breeder in town. My dog is so much cuter than that dog. Much cuter. But my dog is very shy. Do you know of a good way to hide its face? It's shy? Give it a hat or something. Yeah, give it a... Burning Plasma TF2 Ghastly Gibbous or something. Okay, I can't go that way. <laughs> nice to hear that music again, though. Spare a coin for an old codger. <laughs> that joke goes against her aesthetics, you know. I see, I've encountered the Chad of the city. Sorry, I won't make Oblivion jokes. So what kind of candy's never on time? Chocolate! Isn't that a sweet joke? Count Chocula over here. What's going on in here? Oh, the sun is stone solid. What's going on? My grandson has turned to stone. How? Why? Wake up. Call me grandma again. That's fucking sad. The sad music fits there, too. Ah, just like Link's Awakening. I love this version of the map. What else am I missing? Ooh, the ring shop! I forgot this was a thing. I shouldn't even know this exists, but yeah, I guess I saw this in Seasons. Do come in! I am Vasu, the jeweler. Is this your first time? Then let me explain jewelry. Rings made from mystical seeds have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed to you. But you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken and you won't be able to use it, understood? I don't know. Oh, you don't have a ring box? I like you, so here, take this ring box. I don't even have one rupee to my name and this guy gives me free shit. Got a level one ring box. It can hold one ring. One ring, yeah. One ring to bind them. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. Dude, he's just giving me free shit. You got a ring, get it appraised later. Until you've had a ring appraised and its power revealed, you cannot wear it. Let's appraise it. Damn, dude, he's giving me the full thing for free. Which one shall I appraise? Appraise this? Yeah. Mm, I see, I call this the friendship ring. A friendship ring? You couldn't have given me divine judgment power ring? Come on, dude. Some friends we are. Symbol of a meeting. I'll appraise it for free this time, but after this it'll be 20 rupees per ring. If you get two of the same ring, I'll buy one for 30 rupees. Now the list. Appraised rings get added to the list. When you want a ring, move it from your list to your box. Talk to me to see your list. Let's take a peek at it now. Damn, there's so much here. What? What am... Okay. Ah, I see. Kind of. <laughs> uh, what? What am I? What am I doing? Rings do nothing unless worn. Okay, I'm just gonna leave now. Thanks, buddy. What? 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 So, I equip it through you too? Do come in. Welcome to Vasu Jewelers. What can I do? List, I guess? Equip? What does C stand for? Current? Mmm, I guess. Do I have anything that indicates that I have a ring? 
No, re-equip that, please. I have no idea. I have no clue. The Maku tree stands at the far end of this cave. I was just about to say that. This is about as far as I've gotten as the Maku tree. Both in, like, I, I don't think I've played this, but maybe I have a little bit. But definitely in watching others play it, for sure. I can't get rupees to save my life, so we might as well just continue onward. Maku Road. Uh, it looks like a dungeon, dude. But okay. Let's travel the Great Maku Road. Danger! Oh, shit. I wouldn't have known if that wasn't there. Wow, give it to Capcom to really add some detail here, huh? No wonder why they're trusted with Minish Cap. Danger! When did these come down? Hmm, apt question. Probably a different age, huh? Let me guess. Danger? Whoa! And profit. Hold on, let me just be the nose really quick here. <laughs> I have to do this. I'm getting, like, facial recognition. Yeah, there we go. I made the face! You see the two braziers and the exit? Well, Link's two eyeballs are the nostrils. Okay, enough goofing around. It's not much here. Oh, hey. Yeah, these Oracle games are pretty great. Okay, good. Honestly, I was expecting just kind of like a low effort. Not to really shit on Link's Awakening, but... It is kind of a dumpy Zelda game. I love it, though. Pleased to meet you, young hero. I'm the Maku Tree, guardian of Labrina. Varen, Sorceress of Shadows, has taken Nehru, the Oracle of Ages. She's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. We cannot give in to one of impure heart. You must stop Varen, and soon. But to stop her, you'll need some... thing. You'll need something. What? What's happening? Uh... Why, why is Tree Chan blushing? I feel so weird. <laughs> I'm vanishing. Something must be happening to me in the past. Help. Is this the first dungeon? I... I'm reminded of Tret's Tree from Golden Sun when I see this. Really just any Ent in a Game Boy game. Dude, the tree is just dead. What the fuck? The Maku Tree? This is more of Varen's work. Link, you made it! Varen just left through this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nehru and the Maku Tree. I'm coming, Nehru! So, how does this work, though? Like, what? what's the, what's the timeline? Are we going back to before Varen even slaughtered the tree? Yo, this is some sick effect. Who's this guy? Another one? First that guy with the weird hat appears, then you. Ever since that girl Nehru came, there's been all sorts of weird thing, weird goings on. Wow, you know what? Whenever I first saw Vinny play a little bit of a... Uh, I guess I did watch more than I thought, huh? Uh, I honestly thought this area looked kind of bad. But being in it, it's way cooler than what I remember. Yeah. I must have been skipping through his VODs or something, I don't know. It was like years ago at this point. Okay, faster this time. I'll throw it, so catch it, Dad. The village has it hard with the construction of Queen Ambie's tower. But you still gotta spend time with the kids. Hey, nice one! You got some big lips. They look like a happy family. I wish I could join them. That's kinda creepy, not gonna lie, but okay. Lena Village. Okay, just as we were told. Well, I cannot return to the future. This is not linked to the future. You know, come to think of it, I've talked about this on stream before, but when I was younger, I used to sort of just hang up whatever I thought was cool as a quote-unquote poster on my wall. So I had Amida Maru from Shaman King that I traced on onion paper hung up, 
And I had this cool art that my friend made. To the east of Cheval's house. Um, he made something called A Link to the Future. It was just a reference to the Link to the, A Link to the Past. Ouch. You can't carry him like that. Um, yeah, I always thought it was cool, and I hung it up because I thought my friend was cool. I mean, I was in, like, sixth grade, dude. Give me a break. But yeah, I mean, it was probably crappy art. But back then, I thought it was so cool, and I was like, Dude, they need to make a Link to the Future game. There's been no night for many days, as if time has stopped. Yeah, I sort of remember a little bit of this area, but I'm pretty sure... Maybe I tried checking out one of the Ages or Seasons games and I just never got anywhere, or I don't know. I am Raftin. My dream is to make fine rafts that can sail the seas. Who knows, maybe I watched an entire playthrough and I don't even remember. Yeah, dude, I'm excited though. I'm most likely, like I said, gonna play both of these back to back. So once this one's done, we're going straight to Seasons. Yeah, I'm just looking at some of these areas and I feel hints of different areas past them. So maybe I've seen more than I'm letting on. Not on purpose, just accidentally. The Queen was very kind until only recently. You could ask the village elder about the Queen. He lives across the river, near the tower. Okay, but can you move? I like... <clears throat> I need to get that? Whatever. I can get more rupees later. Okay. I'm filling up the map pretty quick. What's up, old man? The village is full of excess dirt from the tower. There's no room to walk. And any tools we can use to clear a path are being used for construction. He looks like Santa Claus. Oh, come on, let me get this. Okay, there was nothing there anyway. What? What is this? Okay, I recognize this guy. He's got a very pink nose, too. Hit targets, win fabulous prizes. 350 points up, ring. 250 to 349 points, Gasha seed. Okay. 150 to 249 points, 30 rupees. 50 to 149, one heart. Nothing under 50. Good luck! <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's a little weird. Getting a little flummy. Need some target practice? It's only 10 rupees. I don't have that. Suit yourself! I'm getting a little shyster vibes from that guy. He's probably running a racket in that minigame. I don't even have a bow and arrow, so I doubt even if I had the money he'd let me play. What you mining at with that diamond pickaxe, bro? The village has been full of rubble ever since work started on that tower. You can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. That's what this is? Huh. Maku path. Okay. I think I know where we need to go. The Maku tree is a talking tree! But lately she's been bothered by monsters. This is Lena Village! Huh! Oh, excuse me. We haven't had any nights for a few days now. It's like the opposite of Alaska. Three days of morning and one day of night in this place. If I talk to everybody, Queen Ambi had a boyfriend, a seafaring man, but he set sail one day and never came back. She's building a tall tower so she can search the lands for any sign of his return. It's called Ambi's Tower. It was a touching tale. Yeah, I think I remember part of this story. Like, Ambi's possessed and also is evil as fuck. This isn't good. I want to deliver the mail on time, but I can't do it if I don't know the time. You use the sun to measure time? How far back are we, dude? Ambi's Palace to the north, Ambi's Tower to the west. What is this? Huh? Why did that happen? Why did it get dark all of a sudden? Heh. <laughs> Only the darkness can ease my heart. I guess laughing my troubles away is just a dream deferred. Okay, Brainiac. Someone told this kid in third grade he had a ninth grade reading level and he never fucking let go of it, huh? That's, that's kind of a burn on myself. 
When I was in 6th grade, they told me I had an 8th grader's reading level, but that's not, that's not nearly as impressive. I am Adler. For 50 years, I was a palace advisor, but I have since been chased from the palace, and I'm now retired. I've known the queen since she was young. She always held the people foremost in her heart. But since she took that girl Nero in, she's changed completely. She quit listening to my advice. It was that girl who suggested I be banished, but... God, that voice was fucking weird but fitting. Extreme old mountain man voice acquired. I'm gonna have to take a break in a second, I'm just feeling pretty sweaty. What the hell is this? It's like really foggy out right now, so I guess it's the humidity? I don't know. It's October, bro! It's almost my birthday and it still feels like summer. What's up with you? Nine gas of seeds, sprouting, growing, making nuts. And all those new nuts got different stuff inside. Heh. <laughs> Get rid of it for me. Got a gasha seed. Planted in soft soil. I know there's soil right by my house, but don't go planting seeds there. What if I do? Hey, thanks for understanding. You can plant a gasha seed. I really doubt I'd do this, but... <laughs> sure, plant it right away. Might as well use them while we got them. I think kind of like, um, what the hell are they called in Minish Cap? I think kind of like Kinstone pieces, the Gasha seeds, and also some other stuff is similar. Queen Ambi is busy. She's in no mood for any who come empty-handed. Bring her a red item in tribute if you wish to see her. Queen Ambi is busy. She's in no mood. Okay. Same, same dialogue. Gotcha. Gasha. Is that the entire town? Alright. Damn, dude. I'm like speed running. What's up with this house, by the way? He's like... <sighs> you pause mid-construction, or is this a dog house? Is this where Bow Wow dumps? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a Majora's Mask reference? P paper! Do you have any paper? No, sorry. I guess it's a dumping hut? Hmm. What's south of here? Oh, okay, this is Queen Ambie's tower. I build such a huge thing. It's just work, work, work. And if anything, I'm not even gonna take a full break. I just, I'm gonna grab a drink really quick. Swap out my water. Give me like 30 seconds. My damn mini fridge won't close all the way, so it's always leaking water from the ice that's in there and continuously freezing the ice over. So my water is like always lukewarm, no matter how much I cool it. There are things you best not go into Queen Ambie's tower, you're gonna get fucked up by a dark nut or some shit. Okay. No full break necessary, I'm just gonna chug really quick. Alright. I like how this is the deep past to the point where, uh... Uh, presumably, at least from a lore context, they use sundials or something to track the time. And yet, <laughs> they're so advanced to enough to have, uh, hard hats. Hmm. This is the entry to the tower being built to the heavens. By the order of... By the order of Queen Ambi, presumably. The villagers are all like, My tax dollar's hard at work, eh? <laughs> yeah, basically. Everybody is like, uh, Yeah, working hard for nothing. 
Just Queen Ambie trying to get her boyfriend back. At first, this tower was being built to guide Queen Ambie's love safely back from the sea. But ever since Nehru came, the sun sits high in the sky, as if time itself has stopped. It's not like Queen Ambie that pushes so hard. In the village, they've started calling it the Black Tower. Hmm. Village rumors? Or maybe someone's been inside and confirmed. But maybe it isn't so hunky-dory dandy. You can look around, but the construction has some areas closed. If you hang around too much, though, you might get yelled at. You're not my real dad. Okay, cool, I see a heart piece over there. The Black Tower. Wow, this is so weird. It's a dungeon, but it's just full of NPCs. I love that they added so much detail to this. Instead of building a tower, she should have gotten a boob job. Hey, Queen Ambi, uh... <laughs> you know, he's just like a couple clicks. Uh, you know, he's out on the sea right over there. You, you could just like... No? I, I think he left for a reason. Heave oh. I don't think I've seen what Queen Ambie looks like, so maybe she doesn't need a boob job. I don't know. I'm a man. I can't make those decisions. <laughs> this here. That there. No. That goes here. No sleep. My son's home alone. It's no use. What a horrible queen. But don't tell anyone. It's fine. I don't even know who she is, dude. Busy, busy, busy. If I don't hurry, the guards will come check on me. Yeah, dude, I was talking about this earlier, but look at this pixel work. You know, just this this tile. This enough would have sufficed, but then they, like, degrade it in some areas, they remove it. For underneath textures, they put some rubble there. This is some quality game. We must finish the tower for MB as quickly as possible. Okay, Shorty. Heave ho! Uh, presumably I'm gonna get a shovel soon. Busy, busy, busy. If I don't hurry, the guards will come check on me. This does not sound like, uh... Ideal ample working conditions. Are you okay? Is this indentured servitude? Oh, how long have I worked? Night never comes, so I can't tell. I want to go home. It's been awful ever since that Nehru girl appeared. Now we have to work hours on end. Welcome to America, chuckle fuck. <laughs> New management arrives and you gotta work more hours. We must finish the tower for Ambi as quickly as possible. It's been awful ever since that Nehru girl appeared. Now we have to work hours on end. We're supposed to finish tomorrow, but we're way behind schedule. We'll never make it. Yeah, that was like half a tower that was built. Oh, how long if I work? Okay. Same NPC, I think. Or wait, did he say something different? Okay, they all switch around with dialogue. That's fine. Busy, busy, busy. Okay. Yeah, look at this, dude. This is some quality sprite work. Queen Ambi has changed. She never, she was never cruel, but now she makes us do the impossible. But you didn't hear it from me. Hey, at least she gives you guys diamond pickaxes. Okay, I'm assuming... Oh. Maybe I fall down here. I was gonna say maybe I go south. Huh? A digging tool? Hold on, I keep losing controls. Kind of fiddle with this or something. Anything, please? There's a way to make it work. I have no idea what it is. Ah, a digging tool. That's the spirit, Sonny. Here, you can have this. You can have this shovel. You can use it. Can you use the shovel to move that dirt out of the way? Hey, we got our first item. Got the shovel. Now start digging. We're working hard on this tower. Help us out. I'm gonna explore the other side really quick. I'm sure it just loops around. Dude, I'm so glad I got the shovel now. 
Oh, this guy's gonna block me off, huh? There's no point going past this point. Nothing up there is complete, so there's no entry. Now get... How about I just fall to my doom? You can't stop me from harming myself. <laughs> First damage I've taken is my fault. Hey, cool. Now we can remove major obstacles in my way. Hmm. Oh, it does full loop around. Okay. I don't know if I've missed anything over there, but hey. <laughs> Fix it for you, dude. You can go do some work somewhere else. Yeah, now even Link has become part of indentured servitude to Queen Ambi. Got a piece of heart. Collect four and all to get an extra heart container. Track them on the item screen. So I wonder... I'm probably not going to do 100%. I'll try my best to do a lot, though. Just, like, all the extra hidden stuff, probably not. But obviously dialogue and whatnot, I'm always going for. So what happens if... Uh, let's say I get... 10 heart containers, and I go to Seasons. Presumably, Seasons has a full range of heart containers for me to get. So, do I just... stop getting heart containers, or...? Sorry about that loud siren. I was reading about it before. It said something like, if you do 100%, um, Ages is gonna give you as much as you can get, same with Seasons, and then when you go to the opposite game, you can only get one extra heart container. But that's if you're doing Hundo, so... Presumably, I could get a full range of heart containers, like max out, even if I don't get all of them. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Do both of these games take place in the same world, and that's where I could mess up, potentially? I don't even know how the Link feature works, so... I have no clue. Okay. I don't know what else I've missed. To be perfectly honest with you, I'll go check really quick. But I think I just want to move on to the first dungeon. And I've heard there's a lot of good puzzles in this game, so I'm excited. Although I... You know what, in 2D Zelda, I'm notoriously bad at puzzles, so it's probably gonna be heinous. Link feature is just a password. Sweet. Hey, just like Golden Sun. I remember being in a car ride on the way to a vacation trip we were taking when I was younger, and putting in, like, the fucking nine pages of Golden Sun password. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I put something in wrong, because it didn't fucking work. I think I... I had the last stage first. And then, instead of playing that first, I just went out and bought the first game. But I wanted to start the last stage with full completion, because I was, like, too smooth-brained to figure out where all the genie were located in the first Golden Sun. So I, I looked up on, uh, you know, like, cheat CC or something, and printed out a full password for a completed save file for Lost Stage, so I could play, you know, without getting the game shark or something, I guess, because I had, like, a no... Uh, what's the term? No, uh, no allowance back then. I didn't get a game shark until a couple years later. Yeah, I just remember sitting at a gas station whenever I finally finished completion of entering the password. And, dude, I tried, like, re-examining it back to back. Who knows, maybe it was a fake password. Never ended up working. So I think, for the last stage, I'm pretty sure I used my OG Golden Sun password. Because I still had that, and it was only, like, a page and a half or something. What am I missing here? Nothing. Okay. Why is this so drastically different? Uh, I guess all this stuff wasn't blocked off. All the way back in the past, hey? I like that feature. It's really annoying whenever games do not that. I mean, it can be stupid hard to put in such a long password string. But I like when games are like, yeah, just, uh... You know, type all this in. You completed all the progress. Why would you bother... 
Like, you, you bought the other game that we're giving you this password for. Why would you have to go out and get, like, a GBA link feature or something? You know, buy a separate GBA and a link cable just to make it work. Wee! <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that voice. Wee! This is the guy Varen was talking- Oh, okay. It's the Moblins talking. Wee! This is the guy Varen was talking about. Get him! No, no! Leave me alone! Tiny tree. What's with you? Keep clear! No! Ah! Oh dear, get them! I saved you! I need that 20 rupees, though. Wow, you're so daring and cool! Give me the rupees! Th thank you! Thank you! Bye for now! Who are you, Link? What a nice name! I'm the Mako Tree! You are brave! They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Queen Ambi to build a black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never, ever forget it. And I promise I'll repay you when I grow up. You can pay me right now by letting me leave dialogue. This is about all I can do. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, thanks for opening the gate, I guess. Remember, I will repay you when I grow up. Be sure to come see me. Thank you. Are those five rupees? Dear, uh, um, uh, when I grow up, I'm going to be your bride. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ocarina of Time all over again. Nah, I said it. TFW no tree, GF. Okay, I'm sure there's more I can do here, but I'm just gonna go back to the future. Link to the future. Okay, I thought he'd say something about me coming through a portal, but I guess not. Hello, Maku Tree. Are, are we, like, married now? So what, you got the big flower? You're, like, trying to look all nice? Mm, it's weird. All, it all seems so foggy. I'm forgetting so much. No! You... you're... Link! Link? <laughs> Heart? Why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you, Heart. Don't you remember? Hundreds of years ago, Link. You promised. I didn't promise. When I grow up, I'll marry you. That's what you said, Link. No, no. Somebody's remembering wrong. 400 years I waited, but... I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by a threat of... What? That's not why you're here? Why would you listen to me? Fine. You want to talk about Varen, right? Yeah, my real GF! Maybe Varen was, is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens. If one of Impure Heart gains the power of Shadow, this world will be covered in darkness. That's what this is about. To know the past is to know the present. Varen can do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark. Link, you must stop Varen and save Nehru. Must I say it again? Please don't repeat. I don't recall, but I think you need the eight essences of time, hidden in Labrina, to beat Varen. The essences hold the power to see the truth, and they hold my memory. Oh. Awkward? <laughs> so you do genuinely believe that I propose to you, fucking weird, but alright? You won't beat Varen if you can't see the truth. With the flow of time disrupted, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at a loss. This is kind of cool, it's like the tree theory of parallel universes and, uh, you know, time travel and whatnot. Kind of meta-reference. If you find the essences, I'll remember everything, and you'll be able to stop Varen. Please do this, Link. First, I want you to go to Yol Graveyard in the east. I hear the first essence there. I can't do much, but take this. Uh, is that a satchel? 
The ember seeds in this seed satchel will offer light in dark places and burn small trees from your path. We did see a small tree. Why are you helping me kill trees? Neat! Another item. You got a seed satchel and it has 20 ember seeds. So I do remember this, and as we go, we get more seeds, but for now it's just ember. I'm gonna go with- I'm- I'm coming inside the tree, bro! Welcome, Link. I'm Furor, Oracle of Secrets. I was wondering what the third oracle would be. This is the Hall of Secrets, where your secrets take form. At times and places, you will hear powerful secrets. At those times, come see me. I can give shape and form to your secrets. Do we ever get art of all three goddesses, or is it just two of them? Because I know two of them are important to the lore. Where is Nehru gone to? <coughs> Monkefella. Nehru is gone, so there are no more songs. You consummated the marriage, bro, now it's official. <laughs> oh fuck, you're right! God damn it, dude! <laughs> <laughs> At first I thought you were just like making the obvious joke, but yes, I I what I came inside the tree, dude. Oh no. It's official. It's okay. Lincoln Zelda can go like move to Utah or wherever it's legal and uh you know Zelda and Tree Waifu be sister wives. Okay, no, I'm stopping that train thought right there. Ugh. I hate, like, all the TV shows and that whole culture. Sister wives? No. Delete this. Without Nehru's songs... By the way, I'm not trying to say, like, polyamory's bad or anything. You could be polyamorous. I just think, like, all the weird... I'm not even gonna go down that road. <laughs> Without Nehru's songs, I can't jump in rhythm. Nehru's gone, so there's no more songs. Man, I'm so sweaty. I had to tie up my hair again. What's up, Impa? Link, please save Nehru. You need fire? No? Okay. Thought I'd give it a try. Nice fairy statue, by the way. What's up here? I'm wasting so many of these seeds. Can I just like switch these around, please? I, I, I immediately wasted it again. <laughs> Rolling Ridge to the west, Lena City to the south. Well, I know where we need to go. Anything here? No rupees? No? Dude, I'm so used to rolling constantly in Minish Cap that I, I almost did it. Who knows, maybe we'll get the Rock's Feather, or maybe the, uh... Lay Boots? Why oh, can't I remember the name of it? Pegasus Boots. Maybe we'll get the Pegasus Boots? I don't know, I'm enjoying going slow anyway. Because I've never played this. Not all the way through. Same with Minish Cap. Dude, we're just doing back to back to back first times on Zelda games. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back and do Zelda too. <laughs> Yeah, definitely sometime, but not any time soon, that's for sure. I'm just so bad at it, you know? Okay, we got a ghost. What's up, dude? At least he's a smiling ghost. No way, it's too scary! It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree! Shut up! It's no good if you get scared! Besides... It might come out! The ghost! <laughs> Not the ghost! I don't have the ability to lift anything up, right? I forget what button it even is. Oh, that's right, it's just the power bracelet item. Yeah, I forgot that's how this Zelda works. Damn, has it been that long since I played Link's Awakening? I guess so. Holy shit, yeah! Link's Awakening was the first 
uh, VOD upload that I did like a wider scheme on my photoshops for the VOD. What? <laughs> I could have used that warp to the stairs a little after that, but fine. Got the graveyard key. That's a nice skull. How about a nice skull for these trying times? Official Zelda canon, dude. What? I bet if you open up the Zelda timeline, it's gonna say... Link's marriage status? <laughs> status. Link's marriage status? Engage the tree. Well, you know what? I think we're past engagement, actually. Oh! Hello, burb. Ugh! Hey, at least it didn't steal my rupees. These things suck in every game they appear in. I think they have a silly name too, but I can't remember what the fuck it is. Okay, come on. Let me actually play the game. Can I have hearts? I'm actually dying over here. No. Game would rather give me ember seeds. You see me just constantly running into walls here? Yeah, that's not me doing that. Alright, I'm assuming this is the first dungeon. It looks really cool. Level 1, Spirit's Grave. Why are you guys looking at me? Ooh, this is some badass music for the Game Boy Color. I'm just gonna listen to it for a sec. Ah! Oh. You hear that drop just there? Damn. I wonder if Capcom or Nintendo made this music. You know, it was probably collaboration. Someone in Capcom's employee, someone in Nintendo's employee. God damn. This blows Link's Awakening out of the water. It's a dungeon map. Alright. I'm almost at 50 rupees. The game does not want me to have money for some reason. Wait, I have to do this puzzle again? Excuse me. Hey, you know what? I started the puzzle game first. I might as well be doing some puzzles. Oh, that's why they... Okay. Okay. Whatever. Hey, at least I'm obliterating every Stalfos I encounter. I'm surprised I destroyed them with one hit. Well, damn, if Dungeon 1's music is this good, I shudder to think what Dungeon 2 onward's gonna sound like. I need to make sure to kill this boo, like, uh... Not boo. Um... I want to call it a ghast. Oh, that's, that's what it is. I was hoping it would drop a heart, but I was too busy thinking about what it could drop me and how to pronounce its name and what to call it. Okay, this is a classic Zelda puzzle right here. Double back and probably grab that chest really quick. Yeah, Poe. It does kind of look like a boo. I don't blame myself for thinking it was for a second. Found the compass. Use it to track your position, locate chests, and find keys. Do I burn this? I do burn this! Uh, this is looking dangerous, but it is just a low-level snake. Ugh! Never mind. <laughs> I take that back, I fucking instantly died to it. Let me save, by the way. Alright. Man, I said it before, but it feels damn good to be back in 2D Zelda. And the level of quality in this one is just astonishing to me. I mean, as a fellow game developer, I haven't made, like, really good games, but I know how to, and I've made some prototypes and stuff. This, like, dude, this would take me five years to even come close to, like, any semblance of developing something like this. The fact that a whole team came together and made this, and it's this goddamn good? Hell yeah, dude. Man, these snakes, classically, are so fast. Ropes, as they're called. 
I think the the only snake in Zelda that's faster is Link to the Past. Hey, I got a ring. Get it appraised later. Sweet. I like rings way more than Ken Stones, dude. Give me tons of those. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. I've been here. Uh, that's closed off. Okay. I guess I go back this way then. I definitely want to check north next. Yeah. Luckily this dungeon isn't mega huge massive, but I wouldn't be surprised if it gets gigantic after a while. Typical Zelda fashion too. Minish Cap absolutely exemplified on that. On the small key. You know what, as much as uh, people have said this is very puzzle oriented, I thought it was just like raw puzzling. I didn't know it would be actual Zelda dungeons. I, I know I should have expected something like this, but I don't know, I'm just more impressed that uh, my expectations were incorrect, and that's a good thing. Damn, I'm stomping these puzzles. Kinstones get you more kinstones, that's so accurate. It's kind of funny too, but it's sad at the same time. It's like, fuck. I don't want so many of these. Half the time it's like the dopamine hit from just getting a spare, rare green kinstone. That's the only pleasure you get out of it. I guess unlocking secrets is nice, but... Dude, I am not doing a 100% playthrough of Minish Cap anytime soon. You know what, though? I have considered doing the randomizer. That could be something in the future. I would definitely check that out. Alright, another small key. Just like kinstones begetting more kinstones, keys begetting more keys. I love doing this. <laughs> Old Zelda gamers remember. Nobody else knows about this, but... Push on the wall, slide Link. He was sidling before Wind Waker Link ever even was born. Before he even knew how to sidle, you know what I'm saying? Gotta pull off the cool spin attack sometime. Okay, before I open any doors, I want to fully explore. This area kind of looks familiar. And this is the era of Link's Awakening as well, so I'm absolutely not going to be surprised if we have a puzzle where a wall is unmarked and I still have to bomb it. To be fair, Minish Cap did that as well. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that wasn't so much infuriating as it was just like, what the hell, developers? Like, what are you guys doing back over there, huh? You trying to frustrate your gamers? Yeah, from what I remember, rings give some sort of buff as well. It's not just friendship unlocked. So I'm curious to see what all they give. I think at least one of them is kind of like double damage. Not a DPS, but like you can tank more damage. Double defense is what I'm trying to say. Ow. This boss is kind of creepy looking. Okay, how do I take care of this? Oh, just slash the ghost, huh? Well, that's fairly easy. As an early game, Zelda mid-boss should be, but I don't know. Guess I was ready to die. You best believe I'm gonna get that fairy! Okay, I could go back to the beginning of the dungeon, but I'm gonna keep making headway. I'm gonna get this new, new item. Bro, Moblin has Boomerang, he's traitor! Speaking of, uh, TTT. Jimmy, Kraken, uh, presumably Frame. I don't know who else, Italian Ninja, Uwick? Bunch of people are playing TTT tonight, so if you're looking for another stream, go check out uh, Kraken or the Jimmy or, I don't know, maybe Tomatoes playing? Because it's Sussy Sunday and they like to get together, play some TTT together. I have not seen them live yet do that, but I always have a fun time watching the VOD of them doing TTT. I don't have enough friends to get together to play it myself, so I can't play sussy. TTT, it stands for Trouble in Terrorist Town. It's basically a Gary's Mod Among Us type of game, but it's like, imagine uh, Counter-Strike instead of Among Us. You got the power bracelet. Hold the button and press 
directional buttons to lift heavy objects. Alright, sweet. Love to see the power bracelet this early on. Yeah, imagine the Counter-Strike, but you're playing on like a Minecraft map, and it's like one in five chance, basically, or something like that. You're, that you're the traitor, and you have to kill everybody, and there's like on the enemy team, there's a cop that'll spawn. They can like detect the traitor. You're mainly into retro streams, to be honest. Hey, that's cool. That means you're gonna stay in the stream then. You're not gonna go check out Kraken doing TTT. Nice. Wink, wink. <laughs> Did I miss something back there? Okay, this is inaccessible from over here. Wait, wait, wait. I can pick stuff up now. Duh. I'm glad I turned around. Forgot what the B button was for a second. You got a ring. I like playing retro games on stream. It's not always the most popular thing, but that's fine. The, the main thing is, if I'm having fun, and if you guys are having fun. So if we're both having fun, oh shit dude, it's gonna be a stream. It's gonna be a good damn stream. Found the boss key. Okay, we saw the boss door earlier, so really it's just a matter of finding chests, and it looks like there's only one left. My commentary is pretty good, thank you. Like somebody with an actual personality? <laughs> nah, sorry. I, you might have gleaned that on accident, but there, there's no personality over here, sorry. Nah, I don't have one, I, I'm just faking it. <laughs> okay, this massive area. Uh, do I... Does the game expect me to push these around, or do I just go hit this? Thanks for saying I have an actual personality, too, on top of complimenting my commentary. Hey, another Gasha seed! I try. Like I've said before, I've been on YouTube since 2006, so, like, I kind of have a little bit of experience. But yeah, I mean, this Twitch channel and the associated main channel and YouTube VOD channel for this Twitch only been up since, what, August 2020? So, yeah. The accounts are kind of newbie, but my experience for sure not. That's fine, I can just go back through the portal. I don't care about Floor Masters. Not this early. It's kind of weird that they're giving us Floor Masters this early, but I'm not gonna complain. It's a fair dungeon mechanic. Now watch me get grabbed by it again. Holy shit, you're an OG? Yeah, dude. I remember Numa Numa, I remember the evolution of dance. I'm gonna regret saying this, but I gotta say it anyway for the clout. I used to be a fan of Onision before everything uh, came out about him. I'm talking about like years and years ago. I stopped being a fan of him before all the cringe, I promise. God, I hate Onision now. Miss me with that Onision shit. Yeah, I started making videos, maybe not exactly uh, 2006. Maybe like 07? But yeah, I was pretty active in the community. Uh, I was really big into... It was called YouTube streams back then. And it's not like Twitch or Justin TV streams for for that matter. It was something entirely different. It was like... Basically imagine being in... Uh, I don't know. In voice chat on Discord. And like watching videos together. That's kind of what YouTube stream was like. Except... Nobody talked in voice, of course. So yeah, that was my shit back in like 07, 08. I started YouTube because I wanted to post Naruto episodes on YouTube. And now we've kind of come full circle. Like, uh, I haven't streamed Naruto and put it on YouTube yet, but we did stream Zelda cartoons. And that's that just went up today, actually. Or no. I'm, th I'm thinking of part three of watching YouTube. Um... No, <laughs> that, that went up a couple weeks ago, actually. But yeah, if you want to watch Zelda cartoons, go check out the VOD channel, I guess. Um, it's just a tiny little demon ghost under this jack-o'-lantern. YouTube is so censored and retarded now. I agree. I've been trying not to use that word so much, but I, I wanted to read your message verbatim. 
Yeah, YouTube's been going downhill for many, many years now. I still post to it and do my due diligence, but I kinda... I don't know. I don't take it as seriously now. After I hit 200k views on my Skyrim video back in 2012... Uh, that channel's deleted, by the way. Uh, yeah, I stopped really caring too much after that. But yeah, dude. At one point, I was pretty serious about it. I'd make, like, YouTube community videos and... Man, just the the meta of, like, actual YouTube community, it's too toxic. So that's why I, I kind of ignore the vast majority of it now. Thanks for recognizing an OG, dude. It feels good to time travel back to 2006 again. You got the eternal spirit and essence of time. Even after life ends, it speaks across time to the heart. Now that's a feels good, man. Hey, the song's a lot better than Link's Awakening, too. What is this? Are those falling leaves? It's me, the Maku Tree. I hear an essence echoing in the western woods. Can you go there? Well, now me and the tree can psychically communicate? When did this happen? Oh, is this the witch? I gotta, I gotta make sure to get hit by her. Where you at? Yeah! Oh, she didn't drop the ring I wanted. Damn it. Ow, ow, ow! Watch where you're going. You just hit Maple, the great witch syrup's apprentice. Thanks to you, all this stuff fell out of my bag. The great witch will be mad. I have to get that picture book. Who could have that book? Well, it's all made me mad. So I'm gonna take your stuff, too! No, it, it's mine! Heh <laughs> heh, I'm profiting. Alright, good luck, Maple. I like these two witches. Hmm, not bad. That's all you get today. So you crashed into me the first time, but then you're able to just fly on by now. Huh? What's up? Someone finally came! This headstone blocks my path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, right? I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Okay. Let me just push it. Ah, push it. Hello, Ghost Chan. You know what? I think this underground grotto is actually the Frog Champ Grotto. If you're in my Discord, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, the the frog from Link's Awakening that's an emote in my Discord. I think this is a recycled asset of that dungeon. Or grotto, not a dungeon. You must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. So, wh what did you do down here? Did you just need to visit your resting place and that lets you pass on? What? Huh? You came out. Since I'm moving on, I don't need this anymore. Take it. I hope you can reach the afterworld soon, too. Please don't wish that on anybody. <laughs> you got the pole clock. It lightens the heart. Huh? What do you mean that lightens the heart? Okay, I'm assuming that's a trade item. I don't know how to view that menu either. Ow! Oh, that's right, it was like press select twice. Yeah. Graveyard key, I got the friendship ring equipped. Two magic rings I can examine. Take it in for appraisal. Okay. Gasha seed pole clock. Lightens the heart. Lightens hearts. Oh, not even the heart, but many hearts. I'm assuming- is that uh, the Great Witch Maple Syrup's hut? I'm not even gonna try and figure out whose name is who. So we have to go west, huh? I'm surprised I passed through the first dungeon that quick, but I guess Link's Awakening is kind of similar. Very small dungeon that you can easily traverse. I picked up that heart container and I didn't realize I had four hearts until just now. <laughs> nice, I'm really paying attention today. Anything? Alright, well let's go let's go get our rings appraised. I definitely want to do that first. Is that Tangle? Kulimpa! <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going the wrong way to get back to the city. Well, that's all done over there. 
I can't imagine what I might have missed. No, that's completely on the border of the map. Alright. You know what? Unlike Link's Awakening 2, they kind of, uh... They condense the areas a lot better. I like that. You're gonna give me this, and I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna dip on out of here. Wooden shield, 30 rupees. You got a wooden shield. Uh, watch a like like come and eat that very soon. Okay, I can now acquire those. I don't know why that was an ouch before. Maybe they're spiny in the hands or something. Hmm. Well, what am I missing? I guess just head west, yeah? There was a couple of rocks in the way. My son Ganon is in that house. Anything else? This is the farmer's hut? Or maybe this was? You can't read it from here! Uh, that's the know-it-all bird's hut. I have the shovel and I want to like ceaselessly dig everywhere, but I know it's a bad idea. What's up with the tower now? Now that we're in the modern era. Wait, it's just open? That's kind of foreboding. No, it's blocked off. Weird. So they built the tower and then abandoned it? Hmm. Okay. Presumably I gotta go back to the past and do something to gain access in the present. Forgot I had that equipped. Yeah, get stomped. Symmetry City to the north and Lena City to the east. Uh, we doing like s symmetry, line, etc. Thinking isn't the worst idea. You're right. Oh, you just like made me time travel to the past again. I remember. So I used to get uh, Game Facts, not Game Facts. I used to get Nintendo Power. I used to get a uh, PlayStation Magazine, but I didn't have a subscription of that. I just pick it up when I saw it when I was a kid. But I would always get Nintendo Power. And I remember when I was really young, there was a guide in Nintendo Power for Oracle of Ages and Seasons. And I just remember one particular part is like, yeah, in the past, or maybe this is Seasons, I don't know. Go dig near the seashore and you're gonna get a ton of rupees, bro. Ah, dude, it's so crazy remembering that. I, I always forget about that, but uh... I always remember Aria of Sorrow being in Nintendo Power. That was a very popular uh, addition for me, because it just looks so cool. And it is so cool, it's a really good game. That, and uh, Tom Nook being the hardest boss in all of video gaming, as well as, uh, what the hell is his name? Ridley from Metroid being the second hardest and apparently being harder than college, so... I guess me paying my entire debt in OG Animal Crossing means, uh, by proxy, I've graduated college. I don't know how that works. Yeah, I should be digging everywhere, in fact. That's gonna give me a ton of rupees over time. Please, I praise my rings, good sir. It's 20 rupees. Hmm, I see, I call this the Power Ring Level 1. Sword damage up, damage taken up. That's what the ring is. I'll add it to your list. I definitely want to equip that right away. That's a good trade-off. Hmm, I see. I call this the Discovery Ring. Send Soft Earth nearby. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. Soft Earth? I've appraised all your rings. Rings do nothing unless worn. I forgot his voice for a second. Oh, that's right. I need to go equip it. I don't know why this is the equip menu for it. Yeah. I guess... The other ring, the discovery ring, could be good. Oh, they actually show up dependent on what page of discovery they are. That's kind of crazy. So we got a page 3 ring as well. Number 41. This goes all the way up to 64, eh? Alright. No, it, <laughs> fuck. Re-equip it, please. <laughs> I like the idea of taking more damage, but dealing more damage. I probably don't need it this early on, but... So far, I've been one-shotting most enemies anyway. Hey, that's a cool upgrade. Okay, let's head west. 
And presumably I'm gonna, like, start the next dungeon and then we'll end the episode, I think. Building a tower on the other side of the river. Wait, they're still building it? How deep into the future is this? 400 years and they're still working on that thing? Wasn't the Empire State Building built in, like, eight years or something? God damn, people back this in these times were really slow, eh? Yo, what's this track all about? Got some, like, mischievous music. Is this in my way, or can I not get through this? No. I thought that it said shovel level one for a second. Another Animal Crossing reference. Wait, I'm doing more damage and Moblins still take two hits? Sus. Bro, bro, streamer, that, that's a bit sus, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that today. I can't keep ripping tomato off. What's up here? Oh, that's right, duh. And for some reason, I, I just saw that, and for some reason I was like, yeah, I can do that. Okay, I do kind of remember this. This is the Lost Woods, if I remember correctly. Hey, it's a... Uh, another... Majora's Mask reference. This is our playground. Won't you play hide and seek? <laughs> this is a bad voice. You can't find the three of us, you can't go on! Well, hide, so try to find us! Okay. Me gonna stop doing that voice now? One's in a rock. One's... in the plant. Two are in plants, one's in a rock. Ready or not, come find us. I don't remember what this is all about. I think this just unlocks something later on. I guess I've seen more of this game than I, uh, originally remembered, eh? But yeah, this is definitely Lost Woods. There's some weird pattern you gotta do. I have no clue what it is. We might actually need someone to come with us to solve Lost Woods. Because if I look at this, yeah, it's all broken. <laughs> Clearly I'm warping around here. I think this part is Lost Woods as well, but... Wait, what? Is this fairy buried underneath the earth? Nope. Alright, time for more diggy diggy hole. Yeah, I think I gotta come back with somebody. I forget who it is. Like I said, I've never beaten this. But I guess uh, I'm having like primal memories of watching Vine Sauce play this. Hey, that's more rupees. Hey, I'll come back. Who knows, maybe I can do this now? Do I quit? Yeah, bro, I can't take this job anymore. Was there anything else here that I might have missed? It looks like uh, that's a dead end up there, unless... Maybe I can go west? Just near this tile? No. Huh? Hmm. What could I possibly be missing, then? Yeah, they're gonna appear again. Damn it! I thought I could cheese it and go east immediately. Can I just refuse hide and seek? Oh, I gotta see the whole cutscene again? Classic older games. <laughs> the cutscene is hard-coded, so it's unskippable. Ready or not, come find us. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this? Okay. I guess I just gotta trick the game into letting me go the right place, then. Dang, but there are still two more. Is this shallow water? It is. What else do I do? Okay. Uh... Yeah, I guess I gotta do a little trickery, huh? There's still two left, or do you give up? Who knows how I solve this one. Just goof on it, I guess. Do a little border hopping. I did not mean to say that. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, going back and forth, but whatever. Okay, there's this. I have no idea what this is. I think this is just an extra coordinate that you're given. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
How, what? Isn't this where the other fairy went? <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm back playing uh, Conker's Hyrule Tale again. Trying to figure out which load barrier I go to next. So it's not that. Maybe I go south in, in the spring area? Okay, I have this. Go north here, maybe? Aha! Using deductive reasoning, I am able to acquire at least two of these. You found me, but the last one is the hardest. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm a master fairy searcher. God damn it. Immediately messed it up. One more, one more. Alright, we'll keep playing hide and seek, but remember, mom's making spaghetti. You gotta go back home at some point. Okay, go south, then north, then uh, somewhere from here. Not, not east. I'm, I'm actually not paying attention on how I'm solving this, by the way. I'm just hitting random coordinates and hoping it works. Yeah, see? Completely not paying attention. <laughs> okay, here's this. I've already done this, though. How about this way? Fuck. Have I gone south here? Well, I don't know why I think that's gonna do anything. Okay, and then north here I haven't tried, I don't think. Aha! So... Pretty much just avoid going south and that, unless I need to reset. Uh... I did all of that on accident, bro, I swear. How, how do we get this last one? It's very bizarre. Maybe it's in a different tile that just looks similar to that one? That's entirely possible. Uh, have I gone east here? Or, you know what, was it this? No, I seem to remember it was right by the ocean side, yeah? Okay, that does that. I'd probably do better if I actually took mental note of what I was doing here. Oh, that's right, the treasure chest was right nearby, too. So it's not this one, it's the one with the treasure chest. That's the hint I needed. So I do go south as much as I can, just... <laughs> until I figure it out, I guess. This is giving me brain damage, okay. <laughs> This should be it. Yeah, there's the last fairy. That's why I had so much trouble, because one of them has a chest and one doesn't. I forgot that. What? You found us all? You're good, mister. Yeah, I'm good at hide and seek in Wind Waker, too. Ah, you found us all. Okay, we won't tease you anymore. We'll put the forest back in order. Is this for Nehru and Din again? But as, like, tiny fairy sprites? That was fun, let's play again sometime. Yeah, this indeed was some very mischievous music, like I hinted at earlier. Okay, the forest is all put back together. That's just some classic wild magic for you, or I guess, like, fairy druidic magic. You won't find us next time. You gonna hide in the parallel universe? Ancient cave, beware, crumbles easily. Alright. What? I didn't expect it to immediately crumble! Holy fuck. No! <laughs> now I have to go back in time to do this? Just moved one stone that wasn't even adjacent to it. Link, are you alright? Now you can't get inside. The rock you blasted was a support stone that held up the cave. Too bad Nehru can't give us some advice. Maybe there's something in Nehru's house that can help. Why don't you go look? Okay, sure. I have no idea how that's gonna help, but I, I guess I'll turn around. Thank god this is all unlocked now. As fun as it can be to be in Lost Woods type puzzles, it is also incredibly frustrating. Oh, I could have just gone that way. Huh. That really did collapse the entire structure, hey? Alright, let's go to Nehru's house. 
Man, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. This game has such good music. And art. I think, it, you know what? Nintendo should work with Capcom to make another Zelda game. I don't care if it's just really basic. I think it would be so cool, because clearly they know what they're doing when it comes to this. Hey, 30 rupees! That's nice! I was honestly trying to go over to Nehru's house, I forgot that was even there. I got another ring though, didn't I? No, I did not. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna start digging again. I wanna become rich. Usually Zelda games demand a lot of money out of you at some point. Or in the case of uh, Twilight Princess, literally all the time? If you wanna have optimal armor. <laughs> God damn. Rupee armor fucking sucked, dude. It was so cool looking too, and then... Like, it, all, it only looks its coolest when you actually use rupees with it. Otherwise it degrades and it looks worse. You'd love to see a remake of Zelda 2 as a modern style side-scroller. Side yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm sure uh, there'd be a lot of market for, like, nostalgia players too old, like, 80s guys who'd want to pick it up as a remastered version. I would definitely play that. If anything, they'd probably release it on Switch or 3DS. I mean, what other console, but... Yeah, it'd probably, it'd probably be the same treatment as uh, Link Between Worlds. I'd love to see that. I couldn't think of any other Zelda game that would be more fitting, in fact. Alright, almost a hundo rupees. That's a feels good, man. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, and I got the big rupee right at the end. Zelda 1 Remake would be pretty cool too, but uh, it's just one of those games that's so archaic, it would probably look really clunky in a modern art style. Because it's so specifically tile-based. They'd have to like remake the entire engine from scratch and all the puzzles, and this, that, and the other thing. Could there be a hidden room somewhere? I felt drafts from above. I see. We moved the statue out of the way. Wait, drafts from above, but I'm going downstairs. The graveyard is a good place to dig? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Got the Harp of Ages. Wow, okay. We really get the, the game's item this early on, huh? Very cool. I am Nehru, Oracle of Ages. You are holding an instrument called the Harp of Ages. I do not know you, but it is not by mere chance that you now hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of time. Your arrival means I am not in this age any longer. I like that we've gone with uh, continuous time travel mechanics, both ages being affected uh, in concurrent time, We've gone with the tree theory of time travel, and now we have the rival river theory of time travel. I hid the harp here, knowing this could happen. I entrust the harp to you. By playing certain tunes on the Harp of Ages, you can travel through time. Let me teach you the tune of Echoes. Oh, uh, that's a classic Zelda song. If you play that tune, you will unlock the powers of time portals found across this land. Step into a time portal to travel through time to another age. As you journey, you may learn more tunes that let you travel through time more freely when you play them. Please, chosen hero, protect this land from the clutches of evil. I'm counting on you, unknown hero. I'm guessing this is like a holographic psychic link, and not actually uh, Nehru herself. Maybe just a memory of Nehru talking to me. It's the Echo Tune. It will awaken sleeping time portals. Alright, confirmed Link is the Doctor. This is now Doctor Who. <laughs> That's something I gotta watch on stream is Doctor Who, but I'd probably get BBC shoving their fucking DMC up, up my ass. Hey, we're rubbing noses together, dude, doing Eskimo kisses. Hurry, you must save Nehru. The world is falling apart. Another cutscene, eh? I like this cutscene, it looks really cool. Especially for a Game Boy Zelda game. 
Link, that's the Harp of Ages. Maybe you can use it to open time portals and sail through time. The cave has crumbled in this age, but perhaps in the past you can find a way in. I'm gonna do precisely that. I don't know if I should do this here though, but hey, let's do it anyway. Oh, that feels good. I honestly didn't think I was gonna get the capability to time travel this early on. Or at least maybe not in this part. Okay, back to the past we go. Wow, that's cool. I guess unlike Link to the Past, we're actually... Hmm. I don't know, it's kind of more referred to as the Dark World in Link to the Past. I feel like it's more canon, this time traveling. Because really, uh, it, well it's the same circumstance. Ganon goes back, and he uses his influence over the Triforce to modify time. Which, you know, causes all sorts of weird fuckery to happen. I guess it really is kind of the same story in that regard. I ain't complaining, though. Wait, I named the child Ganon? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe this is where Link to the Past Ganon comes from. Not Gerudo Valley Ganon. Yo, what the hell? You got a Gasha nut. Check what's inside. A ring was inside. Okay. Yeah, just like I said, kinstone pieces, kind of. But you get rings instead. Yo, what's this do? <laughs> no! <laughs> I had to try that. So I guess you can probably plant Gasha seeds anywhere and farm them if you want. But there, I, I'm assuming you get more unique rings from trying different areas. So I probably don't want to plant my next Gasha seed in that same patch. Who knows, maybe it's a random chance. And it just doesn't matter where you plant them. Somehow I doubt that, though. Alright, let's head towards the dungeon. Hello, old lady. My husband gave Queen Ambi that which pleases her, but he was still taken to work on the Black Tower. I want him back. So it seems like... It's sort of whispered in secret that it's called the Black Tower inside the city. And uh, outside the city limits, it's like, no, it's not Queen Ambie's Tower, it is the Black Tower. It is created for darkness and darkness alone. The sheer purpose, the sheer express purpose of darkness and that is it. Hello. Parasect? I don't know what the hell that thing is. What that enemy is called. The thing that hides underneath the objects. But I've seen it in so many Zelda games and I still have no clue what it's called. Okay, I don't see anything here, so presumably I come here from a different way. And I'm just able to jump down or something. I don't think I can kill everything here either. Let me try really quick though. Get out of here, Keese. What happens if I kill everything? Eh, nothing. Can I reach this? Yeah. Good old sword reach to grab items. Yeah, like I said, I think I'm gonna start the second dungeon and then we're gonna call it there. As much as I do not want to stop playing this, I also don't want to go too long, because I set up like this unrealistic standard for myself. Oh, I played six hours of Link... <laughs> of, uh... The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Now I gotta play six hours every time. And these bombs have tremendous power. Does she have super bombs or just are they regular and you're touting her? It's blocked off? Come on now. I'm looking at this cave thinking there's treasure inside, but I can't get in with this rock here. If I could just blast it away. You're telling me I have to acquire Queen Ambie's bombs? But where? Hmm. Hey, there's more people over here in the forest, though. Deep in the woods are magical seeds in an owl statue. When the seeds are placed on the statue, it moves. First time I saw it, it startled me, but now I find it amusing. I'm not supposed to go into the woods, so don't tell the adults. Hey, this kid's breaking the rules. What did the queen run? Puzzle seeds, enigma seeds, it's a mystery to me. Uh, that's a little foreshadowing for what we acquire. Hey, 
you also searching for that which Queen Ambi desires? You should not go further. There are hordes of terrible beasts. No, I think I will. Fuck out of here. Was that a fairy I instantly picked up? I see one way I can go so far. Ooh, this might be a secret. It's so rare you see trees that you can burn in Zelda games. I feel like that's more of a Zelda 1 reference. Although I think it's a bomb in Zelda 1. I don't know, there's so many secrets in Zelda 1. I couldn't name them all. Okay, I'm definitely not jumping down if I can help it. Yeah, that's just a shortcut, so... Kinda glad I did this the wrong way the first time, so I'm not screwing myself and having to double back. Sweet! Whoops! <laughs> I don't know why, some of my controls are double bound, that's why that keeps happening. Buy something! A shield for 50 rupees? No. Then be gone! I don't even think I can buy that from you. You already have it! Yeah, I figured as much. Hey, there's the new seeds! I'm gonna be acquiring those very soon. Buy something. Are you trying to upsell me on this, or downsell or whatever? Okay, hold on, let me double back really quick. I know I just said I don't want to do that, but... It's right here. I did see this right up here that I missed. I can lift some boulder and potentially acquire something, maybe even yet another heart piece. Yeah, right past this old man. What could possibly be in this little cavern? Hey, treasure! I see the developers kind of took a lesson from Link's Awakening too. Not every single extra tile has to be a breakable one. <laughs> it happens so often in Link's Awakening. You couldn't... You'd have something like this where you have to push blocks aside, and there'd be a, a, a breakable tile right in your way, where you would invariably fall instantly after you push the block. So annoying, dude. I mean, it's a fun game, don't get me wrong. Just... Constantly that was happening in Link's Awakening. But I've never played the remake, so I have no idea if it's one-to-one. -one. What's in this chest? Hey, another Gasha seed! We're gonna be acquiring tons of rings very soon, I think. But yeah, like I said earlier, I think I want to plant them at unique locations. I have no idea if that matters, but I think it'll be more fun for me that way, and who knows, maybe I'll get better loot. Maybe it tells you you can't plant them in the same spot, I don't know. Ow. Oh, I have the power bracelet equipped. Alright, go this way. No triangles or acorns either. Dude... <sighs> that feature was both cool and annoying as fuck. And you couldn't go f five steps 30 seconds without running into a piece of power or a defense acorn. In Link's Awakening. It, it happened so frequently. So that was removed in the remake, you're saying? Or you're saying in these games it doesn't exist? Either way. <laughs> like, yeah, you do double damage, you take less damage. Cool, cool, but... Man. It would be the only theme you would hear constantly throughout the playthrough of the game. Because you'd accidentally pick one up and it, they last so long or you have to take a requisite amount of damage before it disappears. So all you hear for the entire playthrough was... <laughs> In this game, you mean? Haven't played the remake? Well, that's good. Yeah, I seem to remember reading that the piece of power and the defense acorn were really just added to make sure newer players had a chance. I mean, to be fair, it does get kind of hard in Link's Awakening. But not that fucking hard. The only real hard part's the final boss. Buy something, a shield for 10 rupees! Good to know I could've saved some money on it. I guess this is just a little hint? But this can't just be a dead end, there's probably something hidden here. No? Alright. Guess I'll double back. We haven't even encountered a like-like yet, so... 
There's no way I could even acquire that 10 rupee shield. Get out of here. Those things are so annoying. Yet another thing I have no idea what the name of it is. It might be 2D Zelda only. That for sure though, I know the turtles are in the remake. What's it on Switch or 3DS? I have no clue. Either way, there's probably no uh, no possibility in hell, no chance in hell that I'm ever gonna play it. Unless I get whatever console it's on. You got mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. Try them on many things. Open your seed satchel to use them. Okay, so it's like magic powder a little bit. Alright, mystery seeds. Do not forget- wait. Hoot hoot! Do not forget to feed me mystery seeds. Wait, that's it? You're just a hint statue? Hoot hoot! So... You know, wh what? <laughs> that's all this was? Really, bro? I guess we have mystery seeds now, but it's a mystery on what I do next. Wanna switch eventually, just for Breath of the Wild at least? I'm in the same boat. I'm really kicking myself that I didn't get that Switch that I saw for a hundred bucks on eBay months ago. That would have been so nice. Same. Like, I've said this before on stream. Um, I was spoiled to all of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I watched all of it on stream, right on release. And there was a uh, Vine Sauce who I saw play it, of all people. You know what, though? I was so excited that a brand new, full-featured 3D open-world Zelda game came out. I don't blame myself for watching it. But yeah, I still want to play through all of it. Those are the mystery seeds Queen Ambie has been demanding! Nice work, kid! I'll take you to the palace. Sweet! I don't have to do all the Lost Woods again. Not bad, kid. You found them! Now come with me to meet Queen Ambie! Do I want to? Yo, this feels like Atlantis and Golden Sun a little bit. That's Queen Ambie? She's kind of pretty. Queen Ambie, he says he wishes to pay tribute. He brings the mystery seeds your majesty has been seeking. What have you brought before me? Don't take my seeds. How dare you take my seed. Mystery seeds. Nehru desires mystery seeds more than anything else. She'll be most pleased. By what name do you go, boy? Link? I offer a reward, Link. Bring it here. She has like a priestess outfit. Well, you're taking your sweet time. Link, this is your reward. Take it with great thanks. Bombs? Bombs? Lamp oil? Rope? You need it, it's yours, my friend. You got ten bombs. Hell yeah, dude. Damn, we're making progress in this one. My palace is very large. You will not be able to find the way out alone. I guess I can't explore the palace yet. I shall guide you. Let's go, kid. But 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 bombing the queen, though! Will that boy be able to return? Yes, your majesty. Uh-oh. Spooky music. Link. <laughs> You've done well. First you led me through the barrier, now you bring me mystery seeds. Such a nice boy. Taking advantage of people's kindness is too easy. This makes one less thing I can obstruct my ambitions. But my, these mystery seeds are unpleasant. As sight and smell. <laughs> Anyhow. Nehru looks a little too blue. I wonder if that's an effect of being possessed or something. Queen Ambi, now with my powers, the flow of time is yours to command. For you, I shall create a day that never ends. So the people will never sleep and work on the tower can continue. And when the tower reaches the heavens, you shall go down in history as the greatest queen to ever live. Oh, I shall be known as a great queen. Nehru, Oracle of Ages. Give me an endless day so the people can work without stopping to rest. Young and old alike will work toward my ends. Uh, I'd say just more naive queen, more than anything. Maybe not evil intention, just misled. 
We are closer to the Age of Shadow, but it's still premature. The true shadow will fall when the Black Tower reaches the heavens, and I climb to its highest turret. Then it will come. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do like a maniacal evil woman voice. I feel like that's kind of fitting anyway. Nice work, kid. Ambi was most pleased. You may go now. What, I can't go back in the castle? No one loiter around here too much, kid. Alright, like I said, let's go towards the second dungeon. I wanna, I'm distracted by wanting to dig. This looks like an area where I get Zora flippers and go explore or something. Hey, more bombs. Am I capped at 10 already? I'm assuming I buy an upgraded bomb bag, yeah. Wait, what's up with you? Huh, my name is Pippin! Don't forget it. I don't remember what voice I gave that guy. Yeah, let's head on back. Uh, Maple Syrup Witch, once again. Let's ram into her. <laughs> hey, a gotcha seed! That might be mine. Ouch, watch where you're walking. Came through this weird tunnel and was flying happily along. What are you doing here anyway? Well, I'm taking your stuff too. No, you're not. I'm taking those bombs too. And I'm taking those... I can't grab that rupee. I'm taking this singular rupee. You little... I'll remember this. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's any official art for maple and syrup. Did you find what Ambi desires? Yeah. She desires I, uh, <laughs> blow up her cavern, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, bad joke. I did not mean to pick that up. Ow. There goes sword beams, even though I don't have that ability. Alright, level 2 unlocked. Level 2, the wing dungeon. Let's go ahead and save. Ah, that feels good, man. I, I just, like, I started my day, I edited a bunch of thumbnails for the VOD channel, so you guys can go watch those. I guess my mouse died, holy shit. And, dude, I was, like, just so excited. I was like, man, it feels good to get some work in, do some cool stuff. Please ignore that siren in the distance. Yeah, like, I was photoshopping VOD thumbnails, and I was just thinking, I don't know what I want to do today. And I was like, oh yeah, dude! Oh my god, I wanted to stream Oracle of Ages and Seasons! Oh, it's time for me to do that. So, I was just so pumped to start this today. Thanks for the stream, hey, thanks for showing up, nice toast. It was great being introduced to you. It was great streaming to you, I hope you enjoyed it today. And, uh, yeah, for the YouTube audience, that's gonna be it for this. For the Twitch viewers, we're gonna be doing a little bit more stream tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break and return to that. Anyways, yeah, for the YouTube viewers, that's gonna be it. And while you're at it, please drop a follow. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channels. Follow the Twitter. And go join the Discord, dude. But yeah, like I said, that's gonna do it for Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.